हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टुडे स्टोरी नेम इज द ब्राह्मीन एंड द टाइगर वंस देयर वाज अ टाइगर हु लिव्ड इन अ जंगल वन डे ही कुड नॉट गेट एनी फूड he wandered on and on in search of some animal to kill at last there in the distance he saw a goat he quickly crept towards the goat when he got nearer however he found that the goat was inside a fence the tiger went round the fence until he came to a door the door was open so in he went with one jump he killed the goat and had a good meal the tiger was now happy and wanted to go back but when he got to the door he found it had closed he pushed it hard trying to open it but no it was locked it would not open the tiger then realized he was trapped in a very large cage he struggled hard to get out but the cage was too strong for him he was tired and he sank to the ground he feared that his life was in danger at that moment he saw a brahmin walking through the jungle he was coming towards the cage the tiger thought of plan which would help him to escape he sat up closed his eyes and pretended to be saying his prayers along came the brahmin when he saw the tiger he felt frightened he soon saw however that the tiger was inside a cage and he gave a sigh of relief he stood and watched the tiger what is this tiger doing he asked himself he looks just as if he is praying how strange can animal pray to god some minutes pass the tiger opened his eyes he looked at the brahmin and smiled the brahmin started to run away don't run away holy brahmin said the tiger i have a message for you from god a message from god thought the brahmin for me well it may be true i have been praying for the last 40 years perhaps god has heard me at last the brahmin went a little nearer to the tiger what is message please he asked I have just had a vision of God said the tiger God said to me a holy brahmin will be coming to you please give him this message and then God give me a message for you what is the message then the brahmin asked again I shall have to whisper it in your eye ear said the tiger just open the door for a moment and let me out no 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 the brahmin said feeling very frightened you are a tiger you might kill me then don't open the door replied the tiger you will have no message just go away and leave me to pray my prayers don't be angry said the brahmin i was only talking of what i feared but if god wants me to do something i shall gladly do it then don't waste your time and mine open the door quickly said the tiger the brahmin opened the door of the cage and the tiger walked out he smiled at brahmin god is pleased with you he said and god is pleased with me as well this is the message he asked me to give you give my devotee the tiger some food to eat food for you asked the brahmin i have had no food myself for two days and my family is starving i am now going through the jungle to the next village to beg for food but god knows that you have food to give me said the tiger where and how asked the brahmin your body is tiger's food isn't it the tiger replied give it to me quickly or i shall have to take it myself that's what god told me to do you want to kill me cried the brahmin it is not for me to decide whether you die or not the tiger said i only want to eat your flesh please don't cried the brahmin take pity on me i have six children 
they are starving if i die they will all die too please let me go i shall pray that you live long oh no said the tiger you can't leave me like this it is god's will that i should eat you don't kill me don't kill me begged the brahmin i shall go to the next village and bring you all the food you want i promise i believe you but i can't wait replied the tiger i must eat you up now besides he went on man does not deserve any mercy man is weak see how a man has set up this trap to catch me and kill me the tiger was ready to spring upon the brahmin but the brahmin cried and promised to do anything for the tiger if only his life was spared man must die said the tiger again man must be killed however in your case i shall give you a fair chance we shall we shall go together to three judges if any one of them supports your case i shall reconsider the matter the brahmin had to agree to this they started out in search of three judges they first met an old donkey and presented their case to him the donkey listened and then gave his judgment look at me he said see what man has done to me i slave for him all my life he beat me he kick me he starve me still i serve him i am too old to work now i cannot even stand i am of no use to him any more so he has driven me out man is cruel and he must die the tiger thanked the donkey and smiled at the brahmin now let us go and find the second judge he said on the way they made a large crocodile the brahmin explained the case and pleaded for mercy and justice i do not want to hear any more said the crocodile i know very well how matters stand do you know what happened to my wife a man shot her just so that he could take her skin and make a bag for his wife no animal is safe as long as man lives so he must die said the crocodile the crocodile had given his judgment even without hearing the tiger had to say come let us find the third judge said the tiger feeling very happy the brahmin trembled and tottered along behind the tiger they had to go a long way before they found a third judge the third judge was a fox they asked him to hear their case the fox listened to their story first he heard it from the tiger then he heard it from the brahmin he looked puzzled he asked them to explain it all over again they did so but still the fox could not understand what they were trying to tell him so again the brahmin explained his case and again the tiger has his say the fox seemed to get more and more confused so the brahmin was in cage when along came tiger is that right he said no no said the tiger i was in the cage not the brahmin oh yes now i know said the fox the brahmin was praying wasn't he then the tiger saw him absolutely wrong shouted the tiger i was praying and i was inside the cage you were inside the cage asked the fox scratching his head then how ever did you come here you are a fool shouted the tiger you don't understand anything two judges have understood what we said they have passed sensible judgment why can't you it is difficult to understand how things were said the fox unless i see for myself let us all go to the place where it happened come on then said the tiger let us go the brahmin the tiger and the fox went together to the cage now let me see said the fox brahmin you get into the cage as you were and let the tiger do his praying here you are an idiot said the tiger i was in the cage praying the brahmin was coming along how can that be asked the fox i shall show you said the tiger and the tiger went into the cage now said the fox brahmin close the door of the cage and lock it then you can show me how you open it 
The Brahmin, still trembling, went to the cage, closed the door and locked it. Now do you want to see how I open the lock? He asked. You fool, cried the fox. Really you are the biggest fool I have ever seen. Go quickly, go on your way as if nothing has happened. The fox then turned to the tiger. Goodbye dear tiger, said the fox. Now you had better continue your prayers. This is the end of the story. Do you like it? Then comment it. Subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.